What's up, everybody? I just want to weigh in about this uh, post-fight reaction to um, Tyson Fury versus Usyk. Finally, like I said, we're getting a real fight. Everybody was excited about it. Are you really shocked, though? I'm not. Are you really shocked that Tyson Fury lost to Usyk? I'm not at all. I was watching the fight with a friend, and I said it was going to be tough. I really thought Tyson Fury, because of his height, his weight, he's such a freak of nature, he should have utilized his skills differently. He should have, you know, fought a different fight game if you will I thought he's gonna lean on him more but not it was much it was much more harder than that as you can see because Fusik has Usyk has such I said Fusik Usyk has such skills Tyson Fury could not really figure him out he's playing around a lot in the fourth up until the fourth round I feel like when he was putting his hands behind his back he does that a lot but I think it was more of a frustration thing he's trying to open up some angles and um it was just like a really one-sided fight for a lot of people and it was never that way for me a lot of people were saying you know Tyson Fury Tyson Fury Tyson Fury's gonna knock him out late that was surprising when I saw a lot of so-called boxing experts predicting that I didn't <clears throat> I did I did mention on his channel in the past I believe uh, I never made an official video on it just but I'm, I'm regretting it because I remember I was like oh I, I would like to just make a video saying Usyk beats Fury upset but then I was like torn I wasn't quite sure if that was going to happen, so I couldn't settle on that. But I knew it was going to be a close fight either way. And I want to talk about, because we all seen what happened. There's no point in rehashing that. But the, the big moment, and I think it was the ninth round when Fury was hurt. That was something else. Um, the referee did a standing eight because he had no choice after watching it a few times. He had no choice. Tyson Fury's back hit the ropes. If the ropes weren't there, he would have went down. I'm not too sure if it would have been a stoppage. You might disagree with me. He was one punch away, but he was saved by the bell. Inevitably, I think it would have happened again. In other words, he would have been... Even if he went down, he would have somehow got up like he did with Wilder. And he would have been saved by the bell. So, I, I'm not too sure if he was robbed of a knockout. But you might disagree on that, but that's okay. Um, what, I, what I think about the future, the, the rematch... I think Tyson Fury should fight Joshua before going into a fight with Usyk again. It's going to be another close fight if he... Assuming Tyson Fury beats Joshua, and Usyk's 37, he's getting older and older by the minute. Tyson Fury's still what, three, two years, two and a half years young, or something like that. If if he fights Joshua, and you expect a win, because Joshua's going to lose to Usyk again, unless Usyk turns 40 and then they fight, because then age always catches up. Always look at GGG with versus Canelo. You know what I'm talking about if you're a real boxing fan. Canelo aged. I mean, sorry. GGG was so old. It was over the hill. So once you're over 35 and you're up there way over Canelo's age, if they, you know, he timed it. Canelo fought him again and Triple G wasn't the same because he was always too old. He was like in closing in on 40. But anyway, I'm talking about specifically assuming Tyson Fury fights Josh, uh, Joshua, wins that fight. Goes on to fight Uzik. It's going to be another close fight. I'm not too sure who's going to win. I would make the re in the rematch usually, not always, usually the person that won the first fight wins again. But I would not discount or discredit Fury and just eliminate that possibility, which makes it a great fight. What I say doesn't matter, even though I'm on point with a lot of predictions over the years. Pretty, really good. Where if you were gambling, you can make some serious money off of my predictions in the past um, being right. But this is a tough fight in the rematch. Assuming they fight again and it's not like four years, three years from now, even two years. They should do it quick. So Fury fights Joshua. I haven't looked at the latest news. They were talking about that. And he doesn't go for Usyk. It's going to be interesting. I think Fury should win on Joshua. And I don't want to see Joshua versus Usyk again. Like I said, Joshua's going to lose. And then I want to see Fury in another fight. This is more interesting to me. It's probably the most interesting, exciting, on a high level, heavyweight fight we can watch. is to rematch with Usyk. And I'm honestly, now I'm thinking about it as I'm talking about it. It should be right away. They should go right into that rematch. But I heard the Joshua thing. Okay, if they fight, they fight. But um, Usyk is just one amazing fighter. He's a smaller guy. He's punching up. And we haven't seen the likes of him since like a Holyfield, a smaller guy going up to the heavyweight. 
Usyk is probably, I mean, he's like a, a, a taller Lomachenko. He's, he's so skilled. He, he, has the, he has so many gifts in the ring. And you can see early, Fury was frustrated. And he definitely lost that fight. No excuses should be made. He's, he just, he, if you know how to score fight and you know boxing and you're not like, and you're just being totally honest, it was definitely a decision for Ustik. What that one judge said, split, I have no idea. I was just happy that it was legit. I said, if it's a draw, I looked at my friend. I said, if it's a draw, it's going to be a robbery for Usyk because he should win. And he won. And it was a great for boxing. It was great. Better than that scam Tyson fight coming up. It's a scam. It's not a real fight. It's really being marketed as a real fight, this Tyson Jake Paul joke. But uh, I'm telling you, this fight, the rematch is where it's at. I wish it, the rematch would be in Las Vegas or in the U.S. Madison Square Garden, New York in the building all the way. Of course, I would love to see it there. But um, I think that that it's really crazy how you can get caught up and be biased, though. If you're, like, really a super fan of another fighter. By the way, why? Did, how did I get it twisted? I thought Tiante Wilder was on the undercard. I just skimmed through some headlines. I was wrong about that. But anyway, sorry about that in previous videos. If I mentioned that, because it's not on the card. But Fear Usyk has so many gifts. And I think at the top of the game, from what we've seen from all heavyweights, nobody could beat him. One of a kind. Ring legend. Tyson Fury was the man that beat the man that beat the man. A freak of nature, almost seven foot tall. Did it all. Did it, did, shut down Wilder with all that power. Survived that. And Usyk beat Joshua. Got to Fury. Beat Fury. He has to get all respect. All credit due, unstoppable, at his best, unbeatable in his era. Now, when you're holding Usyk up against Rocky Marciano, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, you want to go through the great heavyweights, Lennox Lewis, that's another conversation for another day. But it could easily hang in there at the top with Ali, with Frazier, Fury's in that mix. It's, it's so crazy you know different eras different competition levels but fear Usyk pr proves that someone like Ali could handle you, you think oh Tyson Fury is such a, a freak of nature modern heavyweight so tall but you can see how Ali would be in there doing his thing against Tyson Fury because you're the smaller man that is Usyk beating him straight up flat out beat him anyway I'll be back with another one you can look at my previous videos you can go to how my my previous video about post fight commentary is just re regulated to the ESPN Plus app. How weak is that after you, you're paying for ESPN and they want to rip you off and have you dip in, double dip, and now make you pay for an app to see the post fight press conference in the ring? It's part of the fight game. I mean, what's going on? It's part of the event. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next one.